Hello, I'm Dylan Hartman from Durango Silver Company, and I'm here today to talk to you about the different patterning in the matrix of Bisbee Turquoise and the colors and patterns that made it famous. We all know turquoise mines produce all kinds of patterns. I'm just going to show you the famous ones from Bisbee. Let's go ahead and start with Bisbee Blue Turquoise. This is the look that really put the mine on the map. You can see that it's a rich, deep blue color and has a reddish brown matrix to it. Very beautiful turquoise. This kind of coloring in normal turquoise would have to be achieved by dyeing it and in some cases stabilizing it. This here is natural turquoise. The next look I'm going to go to is Bisbee Blue. That's just kind of a medium blue color, a very pleasing um, kind of medium robin's egg blue. Again, it has the chocolate brown matrix, which is the telltale uh, sign that it's Bisbee Turquoise. Um, this really, this patterning, if you're a professional, can only be seen in Bisbee Turquoise. Nowhere around the world uh, produces turquoise that looks like this. Another very famous look of Bisbee Turquoise is the smoky Bisbee look that can be seen here in these three stones. There's two light blue Bisbee smoky Bisbee stones and then also a darker blue smoky Bisbee stone. This is one that uh, collectors particularly covet. Now on to a little bit rarer looks in Bisbee. Here is a green, two green Bisbee turquoise stones. Both of these you can see also have a blue coloring and again the telltale reddish brown matrix. Here's one I've only just seen in the recent batch of Bisbee we cut. This is waterweb Bisbee turquoise. You can see how it's a light blue color and has a deeper bluish green spider webbing to it that we call water web. And on the edges here it has a very beautiful fine red spider web. Another one of the super rare looks in Bisbee, or any turquoise for that matter, is quartz included turquoise. These little white sections here are natural quartz crystals that were encased by the turquoise. Last but not least, I'm going to show you the most valuable and highly coveted type of Bisbee turquoise. This is spiderweb Bisbee turquoise. The bottom stone is a lighter robin's egg blue and has beautiful bright red spider webbing and actually a little bit of pyrite. The top stone is absolute perfection as far as Bisbee turquoise goes. This has the rich, deep Bisbee blue color that's natural, as, where, as well as the bright red spider webbing. This stone is almost unattainable. Now I'd like to show you some of the rough turquoise that we cut the cabochons from. Here's a large piece of rough smoky Bisbee. This turquoise would have looked like this in the mine. A little bit more damp uh, when you first pull turquoise out of a mine. It's still kind of damp from being in the earth. Uh, this has had time to dry out as it's old stock, but it kind of gives you an example of what we would find in the mine. If you don't know what you're looking for, you might not find anything. Here's an example of what the Bisbee Blue stones, uh, like I was showing you, the traditional Bisbee Blue was cut from. Okay, this is dry here. You can see this, the turquoise here, as well as here. Most of this rock is a big nugget, and then it's encased in its natural rock. Let me just get this a little bit wet to show you what it's gonna look like when we cut it. You can see now, hopefully there's not too much of a glare, but you can see what that possible color 
is going to look like when it's cut into a cabochon. Beautiful stuff. I'm going to show you a few more examples of the typical Bisbee Blue. There's dry. There's wet. Here's again what it would look like in the mine. You, you might see a little bit popping out. Here's a beautiful piece. Again, with that chocolate uh, brown matrix. And one final one. This is a real neat piece here. It's kind of got a more tannish brown um, matrix to it. Um, it's kind of a light chocolate brown in more of a robin's egg blue color. This is a nice big piece of vein. Uh, just an exceptional find. You'd be hard pressed to find another piece of rough like this around. You can see again uh, all the host rock there. And actually this vein does go through. You can see some more blue there. And, uh, and then a little bit of the coloring here on the, on the back of the rock. Okay. So there you have it. There's some different famous looks of Bisbee Turquoise from Bisbee, Arizona. Hopefully that's been helpful and a little bit educational. And you'll be able to determine what is truly Bisbee what grade it is and uh, what you like and would like to have in your Bisbee turquoise or Bisbee turquoise jewelry. Thanks for watching.